Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. If you've been wondering how you can access special and PUA characters, then this video is for you. Stick with us. So there's going to be two main reasons why you're likely to want to use this process. The first one is that you're going to want to use a special character, like a copyright symbol, which isn't available on the keyboard. So we need some other way of accessing it. The second reason you might want to use this process is if you've got a font that has different versions of the same letters, so stylized letters. These are generally stored in private use areas, which are just Unicodes that have been left empty, so that when people create fonts, they've got somewhere to store these extra characters. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Unicode character dialog box. So we're going to come up to text, down to Unicode characters, and click on that. And this opens up our Unicode character dialog box. So in here we've got several different areas. The first one's font family. So this is just the, the font that we're looking at. We've got style, which just tells us what style our writing's in. Uh, this one's currently in regular. So down below that we've got script and range. These are just two different ways that we can sort through the characters within the font that we're looking at. If you want to see all of the characters, we just set both of these to all and all of the characters within that font will be visible. So we can scroll through them. Uh, what we're in at the moment, Arial. So Arial clearly has a lot of extra characters. So first thing I want to do is we're going to add a copyright symbol to our copyright here. So whenever you add a symbol to a text object, it always adds it in the same font that the text object is in. So for example, this one, we click into it, we're in uh, Arial Nova. Arial Nova selected over here. So when we add a character, we just add a space there. I'm going to come over. I want to add a copyright symbol. So if we look through our list of characters, we can hover over this one. There's our copyright symbol. So to select it, we need to double click it. That moves it into our editing field down the bottom here. Um, next to the editing field, we have the Unicode. So the Unicode for the copyright symbol is 00A9. And next to that, we've got our Append button. This is what we use to add the character to our text object. So if we press Append, and up pops our copyright symbol in our text object. So if we move down to our a long, long time ago, I know in this font that there's different styles of the letter A. So this one's in Baby Doll. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't always change the font down here in our little list of characters. So if we just click on San Sheriff, it takes a little time because there's a lot of characters in San Sheriff for it to look through. And we can go back to Baby Doll, and that should correct our characters, which it has done. So I want a different version of the letter A. So if we look down here, I know lower down, here we go, we've got a, a nice stylized A down here. If I hover over it, we can see it. So I want to use this one for our letter A. So I'm going to come down to our editing field down the bottom. I'm just going to delete the copyright symbol. I'm going to come up to the A that I want, and I'm going to double click on it. That adds it to our editing field down the bottom here. It's added it as a type of arrow here, but when we append it, it will come up as the correct symbol. So again, I'm going to come over. I'm going to press append. Just take note that at the moment, our cursor is beside the letter A. But when we press append, it adds it to the end of our text object. So whenever we use this, this method of adding a character to a text object, it always adds it onto the end of the text object. But there is another way we can add characters. Down the bottom here, we've got our Unicode. We can use this to add characters into our text objects. So if I come in, we just delete that one. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select this letter A so we can just um, overwrite it. We've got the Unicode down the bottom here for this letter, E019. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm just going to press Control U. You'll notice at the bottom it says Unicode, enter to finish. So all we're going to do now is type in our Unicode. 
so E019, press enter, and that appends our letter in the correct position. So this is just a nice way, if there's a, there's a character that you're using over and over, like a copyright symbol, for example, and you know the Unicode, you can quickly enter it without, without the use of the Unicode character dialog box. So they're the main two ways that we can add special characters to our text objects. There are a couple of other things I just wanted to tell you about. If we start a new text object and we've got our character selected, we can't actually press the append to add it to our text object. For some reason, it likes something to be within the text object before we can append it. So we could just add a space and then you can see that the append button is now highlighted so we can click our append as we could before and add the character that way. So this problem again is, is just with the Unicode character dialog box and the append button. Um, if you wanted to get rid of the space at the front you can always go back to the front and delete it now. If you use the Unicode method you can just start a brand new um, text object and we can press our control U, type in E019, press enter, and it works straight off. So the Unicode method is a nice clean method of doing it, but using the dialog box, it does give you the visual representation of all your letters, and you can see at a glance what you're doing. Uh, the other thing to mention is not all fonts have all of the special characters. So if we were in Baby Doll, and we wanted a symbol that we can't find in here. So what we can do is come over to Arial Nova, which generally has a few more symbols. Find the symbol we want, say we want this one. We can double click it to stick it into our, our editing field. We get rid of what was there before. When we press append, it will add it, but it'll add it in a font that has the character available. So more often than not, this is likely to be San Sheriff. Well, I think that covers everything I wanted to look at in this video. Uh, hopefully I've covered everything. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.